Hey everybody, this is Harshit and I just got access to GPT-40. I was going to give it a try and I'm going to show you the use cases and capabilities of GPT-40 and how different it is from the previous models. So it's, it's simply the app itself, the chat GPT app. Most of you already have access to that, downloaded that as well. But the difference is in the model, selecting the model. Previously we had 3.5 and 4. Now you can select on 4.0 if you already got access to it. Um, I don't think everybody got access. I think they're rolling it out in phases because I was one of the earliest uh, users of ChatGPT. Maybe that's why I got the access. And there's a small headphones button, which we even had previously as well, but this one functions way better. And I really don't think um, it got complete capabilities because I'm, I'm not able to turn on the camera, but you can see the audio and how different it is. So let's start off with this, all right? I'm just gonna click the button. The moment you do, uh, you're gonna see this and it actually just started off as well. So hey Catherine, I'm Harshit and I'm just, do I'm just doing this video where I'm showing my audience your capabilities and what you can do. So why don't you list down a couple of use cases, how I can use you as um, a productivity tool and what kind of um, sessions or what kind of you know uh, things that we can do. Um, so just please list that out for me. Hi Harsh and hello to everyone watching. I'm Catherine, your AI assistant powered by GPT-4. I'm excited to share some ways I can help you boost your productivity and explore various tasks. Here are a couple of use cases. One, personalized education and tutoring. I can act as an interactive tutor, helping you understand complex subjects, answer questions, and provide feedback on your work. For instance, if you're studying a new topic, I can provide explanations tailored to your learning style and pace. Two, mental health and emotional support. I can offer continuous support by tracking changes in your language patterns and providing insights into your emotional state. I can suggest mindfulness exercises, simulate role-playing scenarios for difficult conversations. All right, I think the role-playing scenarios is uh, what was super interesting for me because Yesterday, um, I was just uh, listening to Naval Ravikant's podcast again, and it was the concept about positive sum and zero sum games, but I really wanted to dig into the topic a lot more. So Catherine, uh, why don't you just tell my audience how you and I were playing this um, role, and uh, we were just going to and fro about zero sum and positive sum games, and then we shifted towards game theory. Sure, Harsh. Let's dive into that. Yesterday, we were exploring the concepts of zero-sum and positive-sum games from Naval Ravikant's podcast. In a zero-sum game, one person's gain is exactly another person's loss, meaning the total amount of value or wealth remains constant. A common example is poker, where the total amount of money at the table doesn't change. One player's win is another's loss. In I think that's pretty interesting. I'm just going to interrupt you there, Catherine. Um, also, Catherine, why don't you tell us... Um, um, about you know how how we can use you in in the workspace like how to make let me tell you more about how you can leverage gpt4 like me for various productivity tasks one creative writing and content generation i can help brainstorm ideas draft articles and even create detailed outlines for your blog posts newsletters or any other all right i'm interrupting you there again and um, for, for the podcast and role-playing scenarios, um, we also practiced how people could use um, you as a mock interview mecha mechanism, right? Like people can basically um, ask you uh, to ask questions and then you just do like an interview there. So what do you think? Absolutely harsh. Using me, GPT-4, as a mock interview tool is a great way to prepare for job interviews. Here's how it can work. One, simulated interview questions. I can ask you common interview questions tailored. And another use case which I was talking about was, I uh, remember I, I've asked you to act as a specific person yesterday, uh, the specific person who has built um, like big business and I was asking you to pretend to be them and then I was digging into their mindset. Can you also tell me a little bit about who that was and uh, what kind of questions I've asked you? Sure, Harsh. Yesterday, you asked me to role play as a specific person 
with a successful business mindset. And we had an insightful conversation diving into their strategies and thought processes. The person we focused on was someone who had built a, a significant business empire, similar to how we might imagine someone like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos. Hash key areas we explored. One, vision and goal setting. Your question, how do you set and achieve your long-term goals? I discussed the importance of having a clear, ambitious vision and breaking. Yeah. So that was like a small demo I wanted to give you. In the end, I think she got confused. I was actually talking about Steve Jobs and I don't think she remembers that specifically or maybe it was in a different chat. But this was last night and the model still remembers that. I think that is amazing because every time, every time you're uh, talking to GBD4, it forgets the context. For every chat, it keeps forgetting the context. But, but GPT-4 all clearly remembers um, the context of what we've spoken about previously and then it just continues with that and I've also asked her to call me Harshit and now I think she's calling me Harsh you know just like a nickname I don't know if she actually missed the the last part of you know my name or maybe it's just like a conversation thing I think that's pretty interesting and you can see there are multiple use cases for this and you can just leave your phone on the table while you're working you can just keep asking questions and just go back and forth with various topics. There's so much you can do. And the thing with podcasts is you can listen to podcasts, but when you're listening to the podcast, the guy speaking in the podcast, you might still not be convinced with the points or might still not grasp the points clearly. You can just pause there, open GPT-4 and just ask, what is this topic about? And then just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. I'm telling you, this just changes the whole education system. I always hated the formal education system. It just wants you to fit in these boxes, but we're all different. And for everyone with unique skill sets, this is an amazing tool. And it's not that, you know, this is uh, only available to a certain segment of um, humanity. It's open for everybody to use. And this just changes everything, guys. I don't know if you really grasp uh, what I'm trying to say here, but I've also asked her to um, just go back and forth in communication skills. Uh, what are some vocabulary words or, that I can use? And for every sentence, she gives me a new vocabulary and I can just become a great public speaker with this. And it's just, um, that, that's how it is, right? So it's um, just, just wait, I guess. Just wait and watch. Just wait and watch how that's gonna change the world in the next five years and like, what if, what if Sam Altman was right? He builds AGI and then asks, how do I make money out of it? So I think that's something I'm really interested in, wealth creation. I think it opens up, opens up a lot of avenues for wealth creation. Let's see how GPT-4 does that and how much wealth we can generate. So let's see, let's find out. Peace.